Hey everyone, welcome back to another further tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn how we can locally authenticate our app. Let's see the demo first. I have run both the Android and iOS device. Let's first try to authenticate our iOS device. You can see when I have clicked the authenticate button, here is the face ID is open. And for iOS, if you have run this in real device, there is the camera is open. This is the simulator. You know that I have clicked this on feature face ID and if i have click on non match face you can see it's to the try again and if i again click and face id match face id you can see this is the authenticates for ios we have successfully authenticates let's try on android in ios we have authenticate by face id in android we have tried it by using the fingerprint when i have click on authenticate you can see fingerprint option is open and if I have click on non save fingerprint and touch sensor, you can see not recognized. And if I have select the save fingerprint and click on the touch sensor, it is open and authenticate. At the end of this tutorial, you have learned how we can easily authenticate our Flutter app locally. Let's start the complete video and learn another new feature of the Flutter. Let's start. Until now, we have just a stateful widget. Inside this, we have the background color and the app bar. You can see this is just a simple. We have don't do anything. Before continue to code, we just need to add the package that we have required in this tutorial. We have used the local auth package for local authentication. This package also required some integration. Let's see. For iOS integration, we need to add this two line in our info.plist file you can see add this in your info.plist file copy these two line from here and go to the ios section ios runner info.plist inside this we have paste these two line and save it and leave it from here that's it for ios and for android keep in mind the plugin will build and run on sdk6 plus and your android version is greater than 6 and after this we need to add this two line we have add this inside the main activity.kt we have of this ios section and open the android for for this go to the android app inside the src main and inside there you can see main activity.kt and paste it paste this two line copy this two line from here and paste it after that remove this line and save it and another we need permission this permission is also required in android manifest.xml file copy this user permission line for biometrics copy this line from here and you know android manifest.xml inside this paste it from here after you have done done this the integration for local auth package is completed now we have start to code
for android we also need to set up the emulator for that go to the setting section inside the setting go to the security and device unlock here you can see the face and fingerprint unlock you can choose any one of this i have choose the pin and set just the random pin i have five 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 one two three four five confirm scroll the notification down you can see there is a pixel imprint choose this and i agree and for set up the fingerprint go to that three dot and you can see here is the fingerprint section and choose any one of this fingerprint i have just choose the fingerprint one and i'll move this and toss fingerprint you can see we have authenticated this by using the fingerprint one touch again touch again and we have set up our android emulator by the use of fingerprint one let's we have done it and go back to the app and we have tried to run and one last thing keep in mind and we have tried to run the fingerprint just we have authenticated the fingerprint one if you try from the fingerprint one we have easily authenticated if we have tried from fingerprint two to the error we have see this in the later